Good morning, House Presbyterian Church, for you today. Uh, and this Tuesday morning, we're going to continue our Tuesday and Thursday storytime readings. And today is one book that I love to read. Uh, it's one I discovered a couple years ago called The World is Awake. And it's especially a great book to read this time in spring as we see so many birds and flowers and just beautiful things outside uh, with us. So I'm going to invite us to join in on this story. It's a great one about remembering all of God's blessings, especially in the beauty of springtime that we get to experience. So this book, The World is Awake, is written by Lindsay Davis with Joseph Bottom. It's illustrated by Lucy Fleming. The World is Awake, a celebration of everyday blessings. I'm going to invite, if you have children with you, to come close to the screen because the, the pictures are wonderful, but they're really wide. So I'm going to try to get as much on the screen as possible. This is the day that the Lord has made. A butterfly floats through the sun and the shade, while dragonflies flit past the flowers and trees, and grasshoppers hop in the soft morning breeze. So you can see there's some butterflies. Let's see if we can find, there's dragonfly, butterfly. And then let's see if we can find a grasshopper. And then grasshoppers going through. And the bees, the busy bees are buzzing today as ladybugs call them to come out and play. If you're following along live right now, I invite you to make the sound that bees make. Bzzz, bzzz. And you can see all the red ladybugs. You're probably seeing a lot of those outside right now, too. Just look at the sunrise that's painted the sky. And look at the songbirds all starting to fly. The world is awake. It's a wonderful place, alive with God's power and glad with God's grace. Look at all the different colored birds. And I know here in Williamsburg, I'm seeing tons of different colored birds from red and blue and brown and yellow. And we get those just beautiful birds each day chirping and singing to us. And you can see the dog and cat look like they're excited to go out and be with the birds too. Out in the yard, just waiting today, are all kinds of things that want us to play. The gifts of the Lord are found everywhere, and all that I see is just like a prayer. So much of creation is happy and good, even the rocks would sing if they could. It's in praise of the Lord that the trees grow so tall, the grass grows so green, and the flowers all call. Look at us, look at us, God dressed us up too, like great sweeping rainbows and skies wrapped in blue, like water and sunshine and summer days too, and you, beautiful, beautiful you. So wherever you are right now, if you're watching this, I want you to point to yourself and say, re repeat after me, I am beautiful. So go ahead and say that. I am beautiful. And later today, what shall we do? I know, I know, let's go to the zoo. We can buy a balloon and meet a baboon. We can look at the animals all afternoon. There's the whole family together. See that bear over there? He's just trying to snooze, despite all the noise from the young kangaroos. See the bear just trying to take a nap. The kangaroos really want to play. The slippery otters are swimming along. The playful coyotes are howling along. So if you're watching live now, if you can, or recorded, if you can, join with me in practicing your best howl. Can you go, how, how? 
probably isn't easy for the bears to sleep with that sound. I love zebras and lions and elephants too, pandas and penguins and owls that call hoo, 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 peacocks and panthers, a great mountain sheep, and that grumpy old bear who's still trying to sleep. Can you find all those animals we just named? The lions and zebras and penguins and elephants and panthers and rams and owls? Down at the zoo, they're all on parade. The wonderful creatures the good Lord has made. What new animals do you see in this scene? If you can point and share it with your family, what animals you're seeing. My belly sounds like that bear when it growls. It's time for supper, my tummy now howls. So let's stop at the market for something to eat. God always provides us with wonderful treats. So I invite you to look, especially at this page full of the food. And if you can, share out loud what foods you like. I really like, those are tomatoes and carrots. I love carrots and cheese. I especially love cheese. They're not as healthy as those other ones. We got pumpkins and eggplant and, and Brussels sprouts and tons of good food. At supper time, I take my chair and bow my head and say a prayer to thank the Lord for all this food, for carrots cooked and apples stewed, for milk and juice and bread and cheese, for even Brussels sprouts and peas. It tastes so good, I eat and then I thank the Lord for food again. So look what new foods on this page. And if you can share your favorite food. Say it out loud now. With my belly full, I start to yawn. <gasps> the light outside is almost gone. Up in the trees, high in the leaves, I hear God's love and the sound of the breeze. The wind is whispering stories tonight. And far above, the moon shines bright. So look at the big, big moon. So I say my prayers and climb into bed, then snuggle up close while my books are read. The comforting night feels calm and deep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep. So prayers and reading, and finally time to sleep. Calling me down to dream and sleep. So thank you so much for joining me in this wonderful book. It's one that I absolutely love, the illustrations and the poetry and the words of it. And uh, invite you to, to keep joining us for these story times. We'll meet again. Thursday at 10 a.m. here at the site. And to close today, how about we do a prayer together? So can you please join with me in prayer? Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for birds and trees, for playing outside, for family and friends, for music and dancing for all the great food you give us. Help me to see your beauty in all things. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.